my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Delaney and this is part two of my 2024 Christmas decorate series and today we're going to be decorating my hot chocolate bar for Christmas and this is going to be peppermint mocha inspired so we're going to start off here you have a little sneak peek of how everything turned out but grab a hot cocoa hot coffee or in my case an iced coffee I'm using some peppermint bark syrup and then just pulling some espresso shots adding some oat milk and making a super delicious iced peppermint bark oat milk latte to sip on so i am so excited to share this with you so let's go ahead and jump right into this christmas decorate with me So here is everything that I have. Um, some things are new. Most things though are from the last few years that I plan on decorating with today for my hot cocoa bar. And I want to share with you the cutest little Etsy wooden tear tray set that I got. That is peppermint mocha inspired. So I'll definitely have this linked down below for you. This kind of inspired everything for my um, hot cocoa peppermint mocha bar this year. I love peppermint mochas. I can drink these like every single day throughout, you know, winter and Christmas and it's my favorite thing ever so I thought I would incorporate it. I'm also going to be doing some DIYs here for my coffee bar. The first one is this super easy Mod Podge picture. So I printed this um, or I got the download from Etsy, printed it at Walgreens and I got these wood blocks from Amazon and you just put one layer of Mod Podge on the wood and then put your picture on there and then you're going to want to do two top coats of Mod Podge waiting at least 20 minutes in between each coat to let it fully dry. And I love the effect this kind of gives. Now you can definitely try transferring a picture onto wood as well and that's a super cool effect but I still think this turns out super fun as wood decor especially for the peppermint mocha bar and then here I have this little wooden latte from Hobby Lobby and instead of keeping this cup of cheer sleeve on there I wanted to just paint it white so that it went more with the rest of the decor that I had going on you know you have to have a good balance of words in your decor and I know a lot of people don't even decorate with words anymore but I feel like for your hot cocoa bar especially it's okay if things say hot cocoa or in my case peppermint mocha So as I'm letting the paint and Mod Podge dry and add a few more layers here and there, 
I'm going to decorate the coffee bar. So here on the other side of the coffee bar, um, technically on the other side of Odin's high chair, I have a little blanket ladder and I'm adding in this, this like a nice, super soft candy cane garland from Hobby Lobby. And this little hot cocoa arrow sign was from Target a couple of years ago. So I just thought this was perfect to add in that coziness. And it po points you to the most important part, which is the co hot cocoa bar. So most of everything that I'm going to be decorating with is either from Hobby Lobby, Target, or Amazon. And I do switch things around a bit, so definitely stick around for the end of this video where I show you the final version of this beautiful hot cocoa peppermint mocha bar. But this little hot cocoa bar sign, that little it's hot cocoa season mug, and these peppermint trees, and that little gnome were all from Hobby Lobby. And then here on my little <clears throat> pot rack, I have this little wonder shop from Target candy cane towel. And then I'm gonna kind of play around with this, but I'm also adding in some of my favorite Christmas mugs that are also from Target. And then I'm gonna be bringing in a peppermint wood bead garland from Hobby Lobby as a little hanky to go here next to the mugs. And of course, I am showing you the real decorating process where I feel like I kind of move things around and change things out a bunch of times before I even decide it's kind of how I want it. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I ended up moving that peppermint tree up and um, the little gnome down and then I actually ended up moving that anyways. But moving over to the tear tray, I kind of like to go back and forth um, to see what I have that I'm decorating with. This little um, hot cocoa served here, a little wood book stack is from Hobby Lobby. Those little Santa boot vases are also from Hobby Lobby. And again, I'm bringing in my little tear tray set that you're gonna see throughout the whole peppermint mocha hot cocoa bar. These wood peppermints are from Hobby Lobby, and I was definitely on the hunt for these for a while, so I was so excited to find a couple, and definitely check out my Christmas decor haul. Um, for 2024, if you haven't yet, where I shared all these little and new items that I found for the Christmas season. Um, this a little faux latte is also from Etsy so I thought that was super fun and I just love the way this like whipped cream looks it makes it very realistic um, I know that a lot of people will keep like their peppermint mocha and hot cocoa bar uh, toppings and mixings on the actual like hot cocoa bar um, that's not like super realistic for this space so um, I actually just keep it in the cabinet but I do have a bunch of coffee syrups that I'll be sharing with you um, bringing in these little mini espresso mugs they're also from Hobby Lobby same with all the picks and these little peppermint spoons those as mini espresso mugs I have in all sorts of colors um, for all the different seasons, but for Christmas I obviously have them in red and green. So I've been loving grabbing those and filling my tear tray and little shelves with them. These little faux marshmallows are also from Etsy and I felt like it was a perfect addition to my little faux whipped cream there. 
and you'll kind of see that I like to decorate with like a diagonal symmetry sort of thing so I have one Santa boot on the top left of the tear tray and then another Santa boot on the bottom right and so you'll kind of see that theme as I start decorating with certain pieces if I have doubles or you know similar sizes of different decor pieces and that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way a reason to hang around and celebrate this day everyone's smiling and it's snowing it's the time of year again I'm happy you're here my winter wonderland small talk with people that pass me by I share and laugh it gives me joy so those little marshmallow like espresso cups are from Amazon so I'll try to have those linked down below for you but I absolutely love how this peppermint mocha latte wood decor turns out and another easy DIY especially if you make coffee or hot cocoa at home a lot is to literally just put your syrup into bottles and just write the um, names of the syrups in a fun holiday color so I chose green and this is just a paint marker it does wash off very easily because these are glass syrup bottles I'll also have these linked down below in my description box because these are my favorite for all of my coffee syrups I love using Jordan Skinny Syrups. They are sugar free and they have so many delicious flavors. So back down here to the tear tray again. I love just kind of playing with things and seeing how I like them best. And I love that I put these little marshmallows in this little espresso cup and everything is just coming together so nicely, especially with like how symmetrical everything is and I just love the pops of green last year I definitely did more just red and white but this year I'm really trying to bring in green to my hot cocoa bar to match the rest of the downstairs and I have to give a shout out to these little espresso mugs of a Mrs. Claus and Santa also from Hobby Lobby they are just the cutest of things ever. These other little picks are also from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to be decorating with a couple different mugs. And these are all like Ray Dunn mugs from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that sort of area. But I ended up just turning them around um, to have like a, the blank side so that I could use it more as a little background for the other little pieces that I'm adding in. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow. So I'm just adding some final touches. I'm adding in another wood peppermint garland and just kind of hanging it on some of my floating shelves here. Adding in a super old Starbucks espresso candy cane mug as my little like coffee drip tray sort of thing. 
And then of course, adding in my other DIY that we did. And I think it turned out so perfect right here. And then I wanna show you all how the hot cocoa peppermint mocha bar turned out. I absolutely love it. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself. Cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. And that is going to be it for my 2024 Christmas hot cocoa slash peppermint mocha bar decorate with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It really would mean the world to me. I have so much more Christmas content coming your way. So in the meantime, enjoy some of my other Christmas decorating videos and I'll see you super soon in my next one. Bye. Somehow